<laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's me, Richard, with Nightmares Anyone. Welcome to the channel. It's Sunday, January 29th. been going on uh i'm reading three books uh i just finished two audio books uh the reviews are right here on my goodreads channel i wrote them last night uh i wanted to say hi to everybody hopefully your weeks uh your week went well you had a great weekend today the san francisco 49ers are playing oh they've got a win today so they can go into the super bowl with a rookie quarterback brock purdy is cute yes the boy is very very cute um, now I don't understand the rules of football I just watch it for the butts <laughs> yes Adriana you know that <laughs> I only watch it for the butts I don't even watch it I just you know come in every once in a while and refresh my memory so I am wearing my Pennywise beaded bracelet I made uh, today I've got some book mail so I've got some book mail from this guy right here, Jeff DeGordick. He's actually one of my favorite uh, authors of the last three or four years. Uh, he did a couple years back. I did a review on these books. The Witch of Halloween House, The Witches of Halloween Haven, and then The Haunting of Blood Moon House. I really do like this guy's writing. Um, I love the look of his books. I love his storyline, his uh, composure of characters, everything. And uh, this is one of the latest ones. Well, for me, because I've had it for a while, but uh, this is Ghost Hunter, The Haunted Hamlet, book one. Uh, and yeah, he assigned them all to Richard. Here says something extra. Hope you enjoyed Jeff DeGordick, 11, 23, 20. Great guy, he's way up in Canada. So uh, yeah, let's see, I, um, I ordered his latest book. Uh, it came last week, however, I just, uh, this is the book that I said in the video the other day. I said uh, I, I was gonna do two book openings, but about an hour after I did the video, this one came. So let's open this. Um, wow. I thought it was hardback, but uh, evidently not. Where are my glasses? Oh my god, hang on, I gotta grab my glasses. Grab my glasses. So, yeah, I thought this one was supposed to be hardback, but maybe not. So, um, Says for Richard, hope you're feeling better by the time you get this. Here's something dark and blood curdling to perk you up. Keep up the great work. All the best, Jeff DeCordic, January 2023. I love these authors that can do this. Yeah, support your support your independent uh, authors. Um, hey, it keeps them it keeps them going, keeps them writing, and keeps us being scared. So this is his newest one. The Bone King. I really cannot wait for this because this is going to be a lot more dark than uh, the witches books and stuff. The witches books were so much fun though. I loved them. So it says, 
this is kind of a chunker for him too. Print smaller. Uh, this one has got 420 pages. Um, Wow, he's, he's the author of 20 novels of horror. I did not know he wrote that many. Um, there he is right there. Lives in Ontario, Canada. So here's what it says. Three victims, their bodies found brutally dismembered in the Arizona desert. To anyone watching the news, it's a horrific crime. But to John Kethledge, it has all the land hallmarks of one of the most sadistic serial killers to ever walk the earth. John has spent his entire career on the Phoenix Police Force chasing the monster, one whose crimes appear random and unrelated, connected only by their sheer depravity. A killer no one believes existed, believes exists except for John. He met the monster once and he saw those cold red eyes in the dark for himself. The encounter put him in the hospital and forced him into early retirement. Now he lives for one solitary purpose, catch the killer who took everything from him and exact revenge. Following fresh leads, John sets out to do just that by hurtling himself into the dark underbelly of a society only the most wretched know is real. A place where legends of the demon in human form are only spoken of at a whisper. Tales of the near supernatural power the demon supposedly possess and the lair where exists his hellish keep. <laughs> I wouldn't go anywhere near it. <laughs> Sorry. But John must be careful about brashly throwing himself into this nightmare because staring into the depths of evil has a way of corrupting even the purest soul and soon John will wish he healed, he heeded the frightened warning of one of the monster's early victims. Beware the Bone King. Actually sounds really, really good. Hopefully it's gonna be supernatural. Actually will look great up on the shelf once I finish it with all the other books and uh, I'm so you know Jeff uh, like I, I told you in the email um, hey keep the work coming keep scaring us um, uh, what else did I want to talk to you guys about oh um, a lot of you have emailed me about this book a lot of you have already received it all hollows I really can't wait to read it. Uh, Leslie Powell, McCarty, uh, yeah, I love Golden. I love Christopher Golden too. I really, really love his writing. Uh, Ararat, still, still, every time I think of the book Ararat, I get a little creepy, uh, just, I'll never forget those horns. Yeah, and anybody who's read the book knows what I'm talking about. So, um, let's see. Some movies started this week that I do want to see. Um, Devil Devil Conspiracy uh, left, so I was kind of bummed about that. Only played for a week. Uh, wanted more people to be able to see it. Um, um, what else? Hmm, that's really all about it. But yeah, I wanted to tell you if you guys have, haven't checked out Degordic. Go to right here, jeffdegordick.com. You can purchase his books from Amazon. Anywhere you buy your books, he's great. Pick up, uh, yeah, pick up The Haunting of Blood Moon House. It's really, really good. Uh, all his books are really good. But uh, The Witches of Halloween House, or, or The Witch of Halloween House, and The Witches of Halloween Haven, I had a ball of them. Had a blast with them. They were so much fun. Um, they, I think they were on my old channel. Uh, some people have asked me to redo another review on them. I, I will try to get uh, another review done on these. And today I'm wearing my DC Andrews flowers in the attic. The horror begins here. Classic book. Came out in the 70s. A book that so many people will forever remember reading when they were teenagers. Uh, yeah, it's just... A disturbing tale of uh, just just a horrible mother and grand uh, grandmother but um, that's it you guys and uh, if you guys haven't done so already 
please consider subscribing to the channel if, uh, if, if you like horror as much as I do just ring that notification bell all it does is let you guys know when I post another uh, video if um, you ever want to be uh, included in drawings because I'm getting ready to give some books away here I've got eight or nine brand new books that uh, I ordered duplicates of to uh, give away on the channel so make sure you're subscribed uh, and when I do the do the giveaways I'll give you guys a code word that you guys need to put in the bottom and then we do a drawing from there but uh, back to the channel everybody have a great weekend today is Sunday tomorrow's Monday Tuesday I have to have a colonoscopy I'm not looking forward to it so tomorrow is that day that I don't get to eat so uh oh god yeah I don't like it so just want to say shout out to everybody Brandon Tammy Christy Maddie Adriana Larry Yance uh, a. Lopez Jr., Jerry Roth, all you guys out there, uh, and Jeff DeGordick. Jeff, thank you so much for uh, sending me this one, uh, and thanks for signing it, dude. Uh, means the world to me. I've got all your books signed now. Um, I There are probably four or five I still need to order. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a great author. He always answers emails. Uh, check him out at uh, jeffdegordick.com. Take care, you guys. I'm Richard with Nightmares Anyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys. I'm out of here.